Okay, in this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you the daily page and give you some tips on how to get started with the design. So first, I'm just gonna click here to open one up in the planner, and I'm just gonna go through this section by section and kind of tell you a little bit about what its purpose is and different ways that you can use it or utilize it. So the first thing we have at the top left is a section for top three. And there are really two ways that you can use this, um, and probably more, but these are my two favorites. One is to list out the three things that are most urgent or important to get done that day so that you kind of pull them out of your to-do list and remember to prioritize them. The other way is to pick three easy wins. And this is the method that I personally use and really like. And so this method asks you to pull out three tasks that are relatively simple and fast, so maybe like less than five to 10 minutes each, and put them at the top of your list. And by doing that, you finish them, check them off, and create a little momentum to move into the rest of your list. So it gives your brain a little dose of dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins, which is the little cocktail that our brain gets when we have a sense of achievement. And so it just helps you move into like more complex tasks. The next part here is obviously the to-do list where you can list out the tasks and projects you're working on through the day. My favorite part of this is the little heart icon at the bottom. You can of course use this just like you would any other little check bubble, but it's just there as a reminder to prioritize something like your relationships, maybe planning something for your partner or remembering to call your grandma or text your mom back or do something for your community or a friend. So I really like that part. And then next we have events, just a little place for you to kind of like map out your day, what you're doing hour by hour. And then of course the wellness box, which is a nice little space for putting in anything such as your fitness plans, maybe tracking your steps, marking out any self care that you're gonna do throughout the day. And then there's also space for making notes of your mood and your energy level, which I love. And then in the top right corner is hydration tracking. So this has a little section for tracking the ounces that you consume throughout the day. It has reminders for your lemon water, as well as maybe like a green juice or a smoothie or a protein shake. And then you can also record here either what your goal is or what your final count is. And it also has these reminder boxes, which are really great for any medications or supplements that you're gonna take throughout the day. But you can also use this for things like remembering to take vitamins, walk the dog, change the laundry, any habits that you're trying to build or remember to complete. Then we have a little meal planning section where you can just make notes on what your plans are for the day, as well as a plan tracking section. And plant consumption is really important to hydration. Plants and water work together in our body to keep us properly hydrated. So this is just a little section to kind of track um, how many servings of plants you're getting throughout the day. Next, we have a little area for journaling and gratitude, just sort of a small space to Start writing out ideas, maybe do a journal prompt, record three different areas of gratitude. And then you can always swipe to the right if you want a full page um, for more journaling and space for notes, and it's already dated for the day for you. And then of course, there's just a little section here for some notes and ideas. And that is pretty much it. Um, you can visit my channel for more videos and tutorials a link to my shop and a discount code for your purchase.